بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہائی دس از محمد عامر شہزاد فرام ارتسام اسپیالوجی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ٹوڈے ایم گنگ ٹو ٹیچ یو اور نیکسٹ ٹاپک دیر از ہیومن اسکیلیٹن اف یو آر سیریس ٹو لرن اباؤٹ دا بونس وچ آر پریزنٹ ان آور اسکیلیٹن اینڈ دا نیم آف دا بونس دس لیکچر از ویری ویری ہیلپ فل فار یو بیکاز آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو یوز سم نیمونکس اینڈ سم رائمنگ ورڈس ٹو میمورائز دا بون So first of all, we are going to start our topic that is human skeleton and what is a skeleton? Actually, skeleton is a framework of the bone which give support to the body and also protects the body and it also helps to improve your movement and as well as locomotion. So this is the function of skeleton. Human skeleton, basically humans belongs to class mammalia. and such type of living organisms or animals have endoskeleton the skeleton which is present underneath the skin which is present underneath the skin that is called endoskeleton and the human skeleton is made up of two main portions two main parts one is the axial skeleton another one is the appendicular skeleton axial skeleton is actually makes the main axis of the body as the name indicates axial originated from the axis it mean the it it makes the main axis of the body for example it includes skull ribs vertebral column and sternum so it is along the main axis while the other is appendicular skeleton and its mean protruding or appendages which are originated from the axial skeleton so these are protruding structures like this one is our axil axis or axial skeleton and arms and the legs are protruding outside from the axial skeleton so the number of bones in the axial skeleton and as well as appendicular skeletons are axial skeleton have total 80 bones and appendicular have 126 so total number of bones in the human body is 206 when we are going to add 80 and 126 the answer will be 206 total number of bones in our skeleton that is 206 now today i am going to teach you mainly axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton will be our next lecture so to memorize the number of bones and as well as names of the bones and the names of the parts which are present in the axial skeleton with the help of this key that is s r v s cervix as for skull so axial skeleton includes skull r for ribs and v for vertebral column or we can say backbone and the fourth one is sternum so these are four main parts which makes the axial skeleton now we are going to discuss our first portion that is the skull so skull skull makes our facial and as well as cranial parts and collectively cranial and facial parts is called skull so skull has total 22 bones so these 22 bones are divided in such a way the cranial has only 8 bones and the facial has 14 so we are going to discuss first cranial bone and the cranial bone have in the form of paired and as well as unpaired so you have to memorize this up 42 up 42 so u and 4 i have written in the same color so you can memorize it u mean unpaired and the number of bone are actually 4 so there are four unpaired bones and to memorize the name of these bone you have to memorize this word that is f o s e fos that is fos so the name of the bones f for frontal o for occipital s for sphenoid and e for ethmoid so i hope you were able to learn unpaired bone in the cranium that is fos frontal occipital sphenoid and as well as ethmoid and the other one p for paired and two there are two paired bone present in the cranium or cranial that is p for parietal 
एस पी फॉर पेराइटल एंड टी मीन टेम्पोरल सो पेराइटल एन एज वेल एज टेम्पोरल सो देर आर टू पेड बोन प्रेजेंट इन द्रेनियम वाइल द अदर्स आर फेशियल बोन्स सो देर आर फोर्टीन फेशियल बोन्स विच आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पेड एंड एज वेल एज अनपेड सो यू कैन मेमराइज पी सिक्स P for paired and there are six bone which are in the paired form and you can memorize the name of these bone by using this mnemonics that is two min please two for two stands mean there are paired M for maxilla I for inferior concha N for nasal P for palatine L for lacrimal and Z for zygomatic and I think you are able to learn these. name of the bones by using this mnemonics 2 minutes please 2 for the pair m for maxilla i for inferior concha n for nasal p for palatine l for lacrimal and z for zygomatic so these are actually in the form of pair so we multiplied 6 with 2 there are 12 bones which make our face and other one are unpaired and the number of unpaired bone is actually 2 that is womer and as well as mandible there are two bones in our face which are unpaired that is mandible and as well as womer so we have completed our skull now i'm going to teach you our next that is the ribs ribs are actually 24 in number in the form of pair so there are 12 pair of ribs present in the axial skeleton which makes our chest cavity which makes a semi vacuum cavity that is called chest cavity which protects our lungs and as well as hearts or vital organs so the 10 10 pair of attached with sternum the ribs are actually attached with the sternum they are attached with the sternum and from the dorsal side these are attaches with the backbone so in the backbone we will discuss the thoracic region have 12 vertebrae because of there are 12 pair of ribs which are directly attached with the thoracic region and the two pair which are remaining left these are called free floating ribs because they are not directly attached with the sternum so we have completed now i am going to teach you vertebral column vertebral column or backbone it connects skull with the pelvic region or pelvic bones this backbone or vertebral column connects skull with the pelvic region so it protects the function of vertebral column is it protects the spinal cord spinal cord is actually extension of medulla oblongata which connects our nervous system with the peripheral nervous system central nervous system is connected with the peripheral nervous system with the help of spinal cord so it protects the main body organ that is the spinal cord and it has very 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 important for the humans or for the mammals for the vertebrates another one it attaches skull with the pelvic i also told you it has four curvature there are four curvatures which present in the vertebral column and the name of the curvature you can memorize with c t l p c for cervical which are present in this area and t for thoracic which are present behind this area another one is the lumbar this one and the pelvic which is present down the lumbar actually there are seven vertebrae in the cervical region there are seven vertebrae and thoracic region have 12 vertebrae i have already told you there are 12 pair of ribs which are attaches with these 12 vertebrae directly okay and the next one is the lumbar region and lumbar region have five main vertebrae l1 to l5 and the next one is pelvic region and the pelvic region have total nine vertebrae which are further divided into two main parts that is the sacral and as well as coccyx these nine vertebrae are divided in such a way the sacral has five as a shape of s and five is similar so you can memorize sacral have 
five vertebrae and coccyx have four so there are total nine vertebrae which are present in the pelvic region or pelvic curvature of the vertebral column and after that the remaining portion is the sternum sternum is actually chest bone that is present right here it provides site of attachment of for the ribs and as well as clavicle so dear students these were the main bones which are present in the axial skeleton and there are few bones which are not included in our syllabus that are the ear bones and as well as hyoid bone which are present inside the neck the ear bones are actually miss m for miss m i s miss malleus incus and stapes there are three bones which are present inside the ear so dear students i hope you understood the lecture if you understood it completely and i really cleared your concept then please subscribe my channel and as well as press the like button thank you and allah hafiz